Uh, so, so we're talking about the 501, and um, Amy, as you asked the question earlier on about the ascending moon, the importance of the ascending moon is that the planetary um, uh, uh, alignments or, or moon phases, if you like, on, on ascending is where the moon, the moon is, is, um, is at its highest point pulling up and energies are pulling up into the atmosphere and that's the right timing to, to apply the 501 which is an atmospheric spray. It actually sprayed out the back of a tractor in a very, very fine mist and it's, it, it sprayed uh, up a, around the vine canopy as you travel through the vineyard and we found that 501, which is the silica atmospheric spray, uh, sprayed in the morning is very good for growth and sprayed in the afternoon after veraison where the fruit is ripening is best for ripening. And what is the spray made of, David? It's actually made out of quartz and the the quartz um, are taken and crushed into a very fine powder. Um, so it's um, crushed into a fine powder and, and, and further ground between a hard plate glass um, to, to grind it into a very, very fine powder. If you have a look over here, the, the, the place where we store it is also important to be in a jar, to be um, again connected with light that's why it's on this window sill um, close to the window um, and kept in this in this jar and this this um, this ensures uh, that it it retains um, its its energy it's actually it, it's quite quite potent and needs to be respected and sprayed out at the right time and you mix that with um, free from water or something yes, else I mean that's correct it's also mixed with uh, through the flow forms, um, so it's mixed for minimum one hour through our flow forms, and uh, and then sprayed, and then sprayed uh, back out into the vineyard. And where does the casuarina tea come into this, David? Casuarina tea is uh, is casuarina, as you know, Amy is a natural uh, native uh, grown in this area and in the Great Southern. Um, it's uh, like a, um, a sort of tea tree, if you like, or, or, or um, the, the leaves are taken from the casuarina. We boil the leaves and make a tea. Uh, we use about a kilo in, say, 20 litres. Uh, we boil it and let it ferment. And we spray it out with our routine sulphur sprays um, from flowering. Um, uh, seven to ten times up until harvest and we use it as a fungal protection uh, spray. The casuarina tea is a natural fungal protection with the sulphur. I find this is um, uh, a, a good natural protection for the vines. And this is a very extensive uh, spraying program Dave so your men are very busy spraying with you know your ascending moon, your descending moon, and also your occasional tea, just all prior to harvest, Dave. That's correct. Yep, that's yep. correct. Yep. And the timing is very important. Um, so the programming well in advance is uh, is very important. It does require um, uh, probably a little bit more management um, than a normal spray program that may go out on a lot of conventionary vineyards uh, that are 